spalio pabaigoje Google paskelbė, jog sukūrė kvantinį kompiuterį. Kas į geriau, jei ne Google inžinierė gali papasakoti apie jį. Šalimanės prieš kelias dienas iš San Francisco atvykusi Jessica Pointing. Pašnekovė užsijima kvantinio skaičiavimo tyrmais Stanfordo ir Harvardo universitetuose ir taip pat Masačiuseto technologijų institute. So, Jessica, it's a pleasure to meet you here. And um, Google announced that they have quantum computer that completed the complex computation in 200 seconds. So that same calculation would take even the most powerful supercomputers approximately 10,000 years to finish. So uh, Jessica, what kind of problems can a quantum computer solve faster than a conventional one? Yeah, well, uh, this is a very exciting time, this quantum supremacy, because it's the first time it's actually been demonstrated that a quantum computer can outperform the world's best supercomputer. And I should note that this is for a very specific problem that uh, Google proposed. So the question now is, can we take that and apply it to more useful problems? Um, so people think that if we could build quantum computers that are even more uh, powerful than the current ones we have now, we could apply quantum computing to, for example, uh, machine learning, artificial intelligence, maybe finance, uh, logistics and scheduling, a lot of different applications. Google has uh, the biggest and the most powerful computer in the earth, the quantum computer. Um, no government has it. Um, Washington don't have it. So Google is the biggest force in the planet? <laughs> Um, so, I mean, Google has a lot of power despite its quantum computing, right, with their search engine. But um, a quantum computer, the, the quantum computer that Google has isn't the most powerful. It's only for a very specific problem that it's better than any of the world's supercomputers. So there's still a lot to go in quantum computing to make it to the point where it could be, let's say, the most powerful computer. So at the moment, they don't have a lot of uh, force or power with their quantum computers. What could happen if quantum computer gets into the bad hands? Is it true that quantum computer will make even strong passwords worthless. Yeah, so um, to clarify, so let's say you put a password, um, you know, on a site and then let's say you're in your bank account, you put a password and then what the bank account will do is they'll actually encrypt the password. So they'll jumble it up so that if someone were to see your password in their database, they can't actually um, they can't actually see what the actual password is. And the idea is that quantum computers could basically unlock basically what that password would be. So we know, yes, that a quantum computer could break a lot of the encryption systems on the internet. Um, but in order to do that, we need a quantum computer with a really big one, a really powerful one, and that's many years away. When will quantum computing affect our daily lives? Yeah, so that's a question that we all would like to know. Um, I mean, right now we have this quantum supremacy that Google demonstrated, and I think this makes us closer to having quantum computing affecting our daily lives. We think maybe the first useful applications will be very specific, but that could be in the next few years. It's, it's hard to predict the future, um, but people estimate within two you know, to ten-ish years we'll get some sort of useful applications. So thanks a lot Jessica and high five! <laughs>